Fox 61 Weather Watch with Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank. You know it's been wet, but how wet? So far this year, since January 1st, we've received about 45 inches of precipitation. So that's taking into account rain and also melted snow and ice. That is almost a foot above average and through today, the third wettest year to date, which is really, really impressive. The record was just a couple of years ago when we had even more. Taking a look at the radar right now, and you'll see it's still raining across parts of the state, but this is the back edge here, so we are getting closer and closer to dry weather and a beautiful dry stretch ahead. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all looking a plus top 10 weather days. It is raining though pretty good right now. Enfield through Windsor Locks. This is our official climate station, so we're going to be bringing up those rainfall totals for the year to date. Maybe we'll be catching up with 2021. But look at this. Sarah was cracking up when I was showing this um, uh, during the commercial break up in the screen. It's only pouring for us. What is going on? It is like it just wants to rain day after day here in the Northeast. But We've got this big ridge of high pressure moving in. That's going to chase the rain away and keep it away as we head through the coming days. People who love September weather, and there's a lot of people that love fall, are really going to be happy with the coming days. The next thing that we'll be watching will be as we head towards the weekend. So on Friday, there could be some development off the southeast coast with an area of low pressure, and that may end up taking a run at us and moving north heading into the weekend, especially late Saturday, Saturday night into Sunday. There's still some question, though, as to how strong this area of high pressure is. If it holds on, it can deflect this rain and keep it to the south. But right now, I think we at least get some, and we'll be watching that in the days ahead just for outdoor plans and activities. But heading through the days ahead, yeah, every once in a while, you'll see a, a passing cloud come through. But overall, we've got very little weather to track. So during the day tomorrow, we're looking at high temperatures climbing into the lower to middle 70s. A bit breezy, winds out of the northwest at 5 to 15, and there could be some gusts up around 25 miles per hour. Then we get rid of that breeze heading into Wednesday. It is nice. Now we just entered a pretty big threshold here, a tipping point. This is the maximum daylight loss time of the year. Every single day, we lose two minutes and 46 seconds of daylight. So that adds up really, really quickly. The bottom line here is enjoy that daylight as long as you can because the days are getting shorter in a hurry. Here's a look at the seven day highs in the low to mid 70s through Friday. We've got that chance of rain for the weekend, but still some questions about the intensity of that, the timing of that, and your shoreline seven day also showing a really beautiful stretch ahead, guys.